Ready? Yeah. When we're... So, I am Shannon Hunt. Uh, mm -hmm. I work for PGL Environmental Consultants. Okay. So, we are uh, yeah, contaminated site specialists. Okay. Um, we investigate, uh, remediate, and risk assess sites. So. Okay. And you are on Water Street, yeah. across from a French fry truck, which looks fabulous, yeah. lakeside food truck. Hard to resist in the summer. <laughs> I was going to say, I think this view and getting out here to yeah. this park is hard to resist. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's a great spot to be. It so, is. Yeah. So how long have you been with PGL? I have been with PGL uh, about five and a half years now. Okay. Um, I've been in the environmental business for mm, 20 years though. So, so okay. mm -hmm. I made the move closer to home five years ago. My kids were getting to that age where I wanted to be closer. Gotcha. And uh, this was a great company. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. what made you decide to get into this particular industry? Like the uh, kind of you know, environmental for me, cleanup? It, it was a complete fluke. Um, okay. I, uh, after university, one of my... Uh, one of my classmates, her father was working, you know, was a partner at an environmental consulting firm, and they were looking for some students to finish out a project. Okay. My background civil engineering, so I took a few environmental courses just to cover it, cover things off, right. and, and uh, I got the job with them and never looked back. It was, oh, uh, I love that. Yeah, it was so interesting. Yeah. yeah. This is one of our members, Vickery Electric. Sometimes you'll see him in their little cars. They have yeah. little cars and little trucks. They're a hoot, big supporter of the chamber. I haven't been down here in a while, so it's nice to drive around, actually. This is all just about me, so I can drive around with you in the middle of the day <laughs> rather than sitting at it's my perfect. desk. Yeah. Um, do you live in the Whitby area? I do. Okay. I uh, live in Brooklyn. So okay. And I grew up in Whitby. So. Very good. So if I was to stalk you and try to figure out where would she be on a weekend, any favorite haunts? Well, um, I spend a lot of time at the arena. Uh, <laughs> my kids are hockey players hockey, and figure yo. skaters. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, um, very involved. Uh, I have also been involved with, with the Ice Fire uh, on their synchro team uh, growing up and as recently as this year. And uh, when we're not wow. in the rink, uh, I love to trail run, so lots of great trails just north of Whitby. So tell me, in terms of 2018-2019 plans, what's mm -hmm. in store for PGL? What well, are you guys excited about? So, well, we're excited about growing. We're excited about uh, expanding our team. Uh, we're really busy right now, okay. so um, yeah, we're excited about the future of Durham Region. There's lots of development coming out this way, so uh, you that's, know, that's sure. one of the things we look forward to. And how long has PGL been in Whitby? Oh, jeez. They have been in Whitby, I'm going to say maybe about eight years, okay. uh, but in Durham Region longer. Okay. Uh, their office, uh, they first opened the office in Oshawa hmm. uh, downtown. So mm -hmm. um, I think probably oh, wow. about 12 they're in a years massive, ago. They're in a massive building now. So mm -hmm. wow, okay, you've grown leaps and bounds. And your role? So uh, my role, uh, I'm a senior engineer, so okay. um, I do a lot of um, uh, senior review, quality control, um, advising on some of the difficult projects. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of risk assessment work. Oh, um, of course, okay. And uh, okay. so just making sure that um, all of our project managers have enough support and technical depth um, uh, okay. when they're doing their projects. Brock Street Brewing is one of the projects we worked on. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, we were excited. Open. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Environmental projects can really quickly There's become. There's one walking <laughs> on Brock Street. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Shiny thing. I'm... Go on. Uh, uh, really quickly, these projects can become science projects and. There's uh, an endless amount of work you yeah. can do on an environmental project, but okay. a lot of the times you don't need to do that endless amount of work. So okay. it, we really focus on what do you need and what do you need to get your project done. A lot of times people don't know they need us until their lawyer says, oh, have you had your environmental assessment done? Or until their realtor says, do you have a phase one or you need a phase one? Okay. Um, and we often get called very late in the process. Um, and. Uh, and usually when we're getting called late in the process, people are, they're scared, they're worried, they're, I need this done and my of deal course. is closing and oh my yeah. gosh, can you I help know. me? Yeah, okay. so um, we are used to that okay. and uh, you know, we're, 
we're very, uh, this is where I'm going to give you my plug. We can do our phase one in 10 days. We guarantee oh, a 10 wow. day turnaround time. And we've, we've done one, you know, we've done them as quick as five days. Other than plans in terms of growth and future development, what would you say your biggest challenges are? Uh, finding good people. Is, uh, talent. Yeah, finding talent. Um, and what so, kind of talent? You know, you we're, you, uh, you know, as for? we grow, um, right. I mean, we have been really lucky. We've got some amazing young staff um, mm -hmm. who are growing with us. You know, we've been really successful recruiting from the University of Waterloo and okay. um, from, uh, you know, from UOIT. Uh, so we've got some great up-and-comers. How would you yeah. describe the PGL culture? Yeah. So, how do we... Well, I, I guess our core values are MacGyverit. Ah, everybody paddles and uh, love that. Yeah, MacGyver it. Yeah, organizationally, what are you? What are you personally and organizationally looking for? In 2018. Oh, geez. Well, in twenty eighteen, personally, mm -hmm. um, I like to continue to grow my skills. There's, uh, you know, soil vapor is one of the emerging uh, um, concepts in our industry okay. that. Uh, we have a guidance document, it's not regulated yet, so we find more and more safe. We're, we're sampling soil vapor, so I like to sort of hone up on my skills with that. And So just for the viewers at home, soil <laughs> vapor is literally vapor that's created by the soil? Yeah, which so is toxic, when you have a contaminated or? site, okay. there's chemicals in the ground, those okay. chemicals can um, volatilize and enter into buildings. So. If we have high concentrations at a site, we'll test for soil vapor oh. um, to make sure that, you know, just because there's a high concentration in soil doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, you're going right. to see it in the vapor. Right. In terms of growth, uh, you know, we just want to continue to work with, with more people in our community. So, okay. you know, traditionally we've worked all across southern Ontario, but haven't done very much work in the Whitby. Durham region Durham area. Region. Okay. Um, I would say this last year we've uh, done many more projects and okay. so uh, we want to see that continue because we're right. really happy working, you know, right. well, locally. in our neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank well, you very much for the drive along. Yeah, Is there anything you. else you wanted to share in your wisdom hmm. about what we need to think about? What could we be doing differently as a chamber? Oh, geez. I think you guys are doing lots of great things. Like, Okay. You know, the Young People's Networks, the Java Jolts are yeah. awesome. I've met some amazing people through the Java Jolts. Great. Um, I'm glad. Yeah, so, you know, not necessarily people that I'd work on projects with, mm -hmm. but uh, just great people who I think very highly of and have learned a lot from. So, right. Right. Um, you know, opportunities uh, for people to continue to meet are great. We will mm -hmm. continue to do that. And I'd love to do a skating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take that back to the office. I'll be like, what? <laughs>